Hi, I'm Andrew with Infinity Cutting Tools. Today, we're going to make a four inch butterfly inlay using our multi-layer inlay system. The multi-layer inlay system is a set of templates that allows you to make inlays from multiple pieces of wood quickly and easily. These templates are available in multiple designs. To use the multi-layer inlay system, you'll need an accessory pack. This pack includes an Infinity low profile inlay guide bushing, a centering pin to center the guide bushing on your router, an eighth inch down cut spiral bit, a set of positioning plates, which we'll talk about later, and a roll of double-sided tape. To do our routing, we're also going to be using a compact plunge router that's variable speed. To install the inlay guide bushing in your router, first install the centering pin in your router's collet, then loosely install the bushing into your router's base plate. Plunge the router so that the bushing slides over the centering pin, then lock the locking collar down. The Infinity Brass Inlay Kit includes an inlay guide bushing, a centering pin for installing the bushing in your router, and an eighth inch down cut spiral bit. The Infinity Low Profile brass guide bushing has a removable sleeve. This sleeve adjusts for the diameter of an eighth inch router bit to allow you to make both the pocket for the inlay with the sleeve installed and with the sleeve removed, you can cut out the inlay that will fit into the pocket. The Infinity low profile inlay guide bushing is designed specifically for use with the multi-layer inlay system but can be used with templates as thin as two tenths of an inch thick. For inlay material, I'm using eighth inch thick veneers available in variety packs that include domestic and hardwood species. You can also make your own inlay material at the bandsaw using an infinity rip blade to resaw stock into thin veneers. When taping my eighth inch veneer to my backer piece, I'm making sure to position tape where my inlay will be cut from. This ensures that my inlay won't fly free when it's routed free from the surrounding material. I'm taping the majority of the back of my inlay material because I'm going to use this entire piece for inlay projects. With our veneers chosen and taped to our backer, we're ready to position our first template. The four inch butterfly requires the template to be flipped over to make both the left and the right sides of the design and it's marked with a laser etching to give me instructions on how to position and flip the template for use. I've also gone ahead and numbered each piece of my inlay so that I know in which order it will be installed. With my template secured, I'm ready to route. First, I'm gonna set the plunge depth of my router to route just through my eighth inch thick material. And I'm also going to remove the sleeve on my guide bushing so that I cut my inlay to the correct size. I like to route in a clockwise rotation around the template. This allows the router bit to help keep the guide bushing tight against the edge of the template. With my first inlay cut, I can flip my template over and cut my second piece.
because we're routing through the tape on the back side of our eighth inch veneer, the sawdust is sticky and likes to stay in the groove that we've routed. To get it out of the way, I use an awl or some other tool just to scrape it out and so we can see our inlay. <sighs> With all of the pieces of our inlay routed, we're ready to start making pockets in our workpiece for the inlay to fit into. The first step is to apply some tape to our very first template, labeled number one of three, and we're gonna position this template on our workpiece where we want our inlay located. I'm gonna position it a little bit off center in my workpiece. Make sure it's square where I want it and place it down. Once I have my template positioned, I want to grab my positioning plates and I'm going to install these on the edge of my template, creating a corner. This allows me to be able to remove my first template, flip it over, do our second operation, and then also continue on to our second and third templates so that each template will be exactly in the same place as the last. With my positioning plates and my first template on my workpiece, I'm ready to route my first pocket, but first I need to reinstall my sleeve onto my bushing. I'm also setting the depth stop on my router to the exact depth of the thickness of my inlay. I'm using a chisel to gently pry underneath the template to work it free. And then we're ready to install the first piece of our inlay. To make sure that my inlay drops into the pocket easily, I like to take a piece of fine grit sandpaper and lightly sand the edges of the inlay and this back corner to make sure there's no little fuzz or anything from the routing process that might keep it from dropping neatly into the pocket. I'm applying a thin layer of tight bond two to the back of my inlay rather than applying glue to the pocket. This ensures I have less glue that needs to squeeze out around the edges. It's a tight fit, so I'm using a mallet to help me get my inlay into the pocket. With our first piece in place, we need to flip our first template over so that we can make the mirror image and our second pocket. Now that we've routed our first pocket and installed the inlay and flipped the first template and routed our second pocket and installed that inlay, we're ready to move on to our second template and route our first pocket.
Now that I finished up my second pass with my second template, I'm ready to move on to my final template, which only will require one pass to make the body of my butterfly. Now I've been using my positioning plates to locate my template each time I remove and install it. An added benefit of the positioning plates being the same thickness as my template is that they add extra support for my router as I route my pockets. Now that I have all the pieces of my inlay routed and glued in, I can now remove my positioning plates, do my sanding, and apply my favorite finish. Here's our finished product. As you can see, it's easy to add beautiful inlays to your projects using the multi-layer inlay system.